what we're going to do is we're going to do questions on page 587. We are talking about electrical potential energy today. And if you read about electrical potential energy, it's potential energy associated with the charge due to its position in the electric field. So that's something, excuse me, new that we're going to be doing today. So there is a formula that we're going to be using. There's three different ones we're going to be using during this time. Depending on what we need to find out will depend on what formula that we use. So if you look at the practice problem, what we're doing here is we're using Q equals the change in potential energy electric over E times D here. And so we're going to be probably using a variation of that. So let's look and see what we have. So question number one says, what would the charge on a drop droplet in a sample problem above increase in electrical potential energy was 4.8 times 10 to the 16th joule. So we're just changing the sample problem into uh, the new variable. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and write down what mine is, what my variables are. So the change in potential energy electric is going to be 4.8 times 10 to the negative 16 joules. Okay, we're going to keep our D, which is 3.0 centimeters. And remember here, you have to change your centimeters to meters to do these problems, which is 3.0 times 10 to the negative 2 meters. And then our E is 2.0 times 10 to the 4th with no charge. Okay? So what we're looking for here is we're looking for Q. So to be able to find Q, we're going to take the change in potential energy electric. We're going to divide that by E times D. So that's going to be 4.8 times 10 to the negative 16 joule over 2.0 times 10 to the fourth, no charge, Multiply that by 3.0 times 10 to the negative 2 meters. So check my math again. Alpha y equal. I'm going to do 4.8 times 10 here at negative 16 over open bracket 2.0 times 10 to the fourth. And I think I've got it in the wrong mode, but we're going to find out in a minute because I was doing degrees before in the last class. Yep. Go back to radian. Sorry, guys. Just give me a minute. So my answer was 8.0 times 10 to the negative 19 power. That's Is what that what you got, Bailey and Jordan? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, fantastic. So let's look at number two. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete. I'm just going to erase the variables that we have and see if we can use this formula or if we need to change it. So let's see what it says. It says two charge plates separated by 15 centimeter created a uniform electrical field of 360 no charge. What is the potential difference between those two plates? So here I have my diameter. My diameter, it says they're 15 centimeters by, uh, apart from each other, which would be 1.5 times 10 to the negative 1 meter. Um, it also tells me E is 3.6 times 10 to the 2, no charge. And I think that's all it gives us. So what we're looking for is we're looking for the change in voltage. So that would be the change in V. That would be the negative of E times D, okay? So we're going to do negative 3.6 times 10 to the second no charge. We're going to times that by our how distance, which was 15, excuse me, 1.5 times 10 to the negative 1 meter. So C, negative. 3.6 times 10 carat 2, close bracket, 1.5 
times 10 to the negative 1. And I got negative 54 volts. Because we're talking about changing volt. Is that what y'all got? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Any, any questions? No, ma'am. Okay. Now, number three and number four are a little bit trickier. Well, excuse me, three is trickier. It's the only one we have left. So for this one, it says the electron moves 4.5 meters in the direction of the electrical field with a strength of 325 with no charge. Describe the change in electrical potential energy associated with electrons. Now, the first thing you have to do is you have to turn back to 552. So if you turn back to 552, you will see charge of a mass of particles, which are on the bottom. You need to have that to be able to find the charge <clears throat> of the electron because it doesn't tell us here the charge of the electron, does it? So that's probably one step that maybe you had question about. So for our charge of our electron is the negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs, which is on page 552. It told us the distance was 4.5 meters. Now, since they're already in meters, we don't have to change it, do we? We only have to change it if it's centimeters, thank God. And our E is 325, no charge. So what we're looking for here is we're looking for the charge and the potential energy of this electrical electron, okay? So charge and potential energy of the electricity that we're looking for is going to be equal to our charge times our E times our D. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say negative 1 point, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 times that to 325, no charge. And I'm going to times that by 4.5 meters. So let's see what we got. I got 2.34 times 10 to the negative 16. I got that. So 2.34 times 10 to the negative 16 is that charge. And that's going to be, since it's change of potential energy, that would be in joules. Questions about that? Um, Jordan, what did you have for... A of number one. Okay, so for number one, for E, I got 2.0 times 10 to the fourth, no charge. Okay, the way I wrote it, it looked like negative one, so I was just confused. Yeah, I, I had 2.0 times it's, 10 to the it's fourth. My, it's, it's my beautiful handwriting. No, no, I promise it was mine. <laughs> Well, hold yeah. on a second. Say hi to Miss Tyree. I'm going to stop the recording real quick, and then we'll talk. Okay, I got your Christmas present. Take that with everyone you've done.